why didn't I take care of my hair from the beginning? Well, what I'm learning is it's because I never really loved myself. So there are two things I want to talk about in today's video. My 22 month hair update and some things I'm learning along the way. First off, I chopped my hair on June 14th of 2020, so in a couple of months, it will be two years. I've established some consistency in my routine, although I don't think it's where I want it. I wash my hair every one to two weeks, depending on how dry and itchy it gets. I recently went through an interval where my scalp was unusually flaky than normal. I never had issues like that before, but it cleared up as I changed how I shampooed my hair. That has subsided, thank God. I'm not too fond of the look of skin falling off my head. As of right now, I use two shampoos. One is to cleanse my scalp, and it is basically the generic version of Head & Shoulders that really helps keep dandruff and flakiness away. And I also use a moisturizing hair shampoo for my strands, and that is by Giovanni. Currently, I'm not deep conditioning, but using a hair mask for about five minutes or as directed on the package, I do think I need to get back to deep conditioning. Still, I've eliminated it for time's sake and compensated by using hair grease and moisturizer to keep my hair from drying out. Um, here are the two moisturizers. Well, hair grease isn't really a moisturizer. It's more of a sealant, but I do use the ORS um, hair lotion and my hair's really been loving that. I'm due for a trim, but I will wait till the end of the year to trim my hair, please God. Now, let's get into some of the things that I've learned through this journey. Now, I don't know if you guys or any of you watching this have followed me from the beginning, but I started my YouTube channel at the tail end of 2010, so it's been approximately... 10 plus years since my first video and my hair journey started then. I've spent a good portion of my life hating my hair and this was often evident in the way that I mistreated it throughout different seasons of my life. Whenever I was going through something, my hair was the first to take a hit and I'd either relax it with chemicals or apply extreme heat because I didn't care. I mean, I think I cared, but going through stuff and not dealing with those things really made me attack myself. And I've actually struggled with self-harm in other ways as well, and thank God he is delivering me from that. But as much as I tried to love my hair, I realized it was my heart and lack of love for myself. And I'm not talking about this toxic self-love culture that places you at the apex and the priority of society. So if people don't love you, you know, off with their heads, I'm not promoting self-prosperity or self-fulfillment or self, I wouldn't even say self-love, maybe self-absorbance or something, but this is definitely not that. Loving myself is really coming to terms with allowing the love of God to flow in me so that I can love myself the way that he loves me and it actually makes me love people in the way that he loves them too. So no matter what regimen I chose, nothing would get my hair growing until I actually learned to love myself. So I've been stripping off every covering from makeup, wigs, clothes, etc. Anything that has become a crutch for me to feel good about myself and to love myself, I've pretty much stripped and I'm learning to love myself um, you know, these past couple of years. And I believe it's all genuinely here to stay. It has not been an easy journey, but you know, once you get used to something, you can't go back. And my natural hair is pretty dope. 